Have you ever sat down and wondered, are you making the most of your time or are you just wasting most of it? How do you know what is not wasting your time or not? So I looked up what older people do, people that might be on their deathbeds, what kind of things they regret. How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about the five top regrets of the dying. Here it is. Let me just go through the list very quickly and then we'll go back to each one. The first one, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life of others. Number two, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Number three, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Number four, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. Number five, I wish that I had let myself be happier. Usually you would assume that older people would know better because they have all the experience behind them. But perhaps when you're older, you could be biased towards certain things. So it might not be optimal as like living your life fully, just using these as criteria. So take all of this with a grain of salt. Of course, you can't just take them and then use them as like a rule of life. They might be correct, they might not be. So the first one really resonates with me. Courage to live a life true to yourself and not the life others expect of you. This is kind of what I struggled a lot with when um, I decided to quit my job because I mean, gosh, going through a master's program, oh my gosh, you know, this is like six years of my life that I put into getting a degree and so when other people from outside look into this, I'm always afraid that people are going to go, oh my gosh, you just wasted a degree. So this is where the courage comes in and you have to live your life true to yourself. What is true to yourself? You have to look at what are you really happy doing, I guess. Back then when I was doing my job, I just kind of thought it wasn't what I thought it was. Before going into engineering, I thought, wow, you know, when I go into work, I'm going to design all this fun stuff. I'm going to, you know, do all these knickknacks, build stuff and stuff. But when I got into the workforce and worked enough years and I worked a number of years, so I, you can't say I didn't try, tried for a very long time. And what I soon realized is that I shuffled around more paper and did a lot of things that did not matter. Um, things like just kind of paperwork, just kind of calculations and stuff that never gets used sometimes. So that kind of got me kind of unenthusiastic to keep on pursuing that. So you can see a lot of people expected me to keep on doing my engineering for the rest of my life, at least till 55, 60 or something at least, right? And use my degree for a good 20, 30 years. So going to this YouTube route, me making these videos, it's really doing stuff not what people expect of me it's like completely you know outside no one not one person would say hey you should go pursue this you should you know make it bigger and bigger no one actually ever said that not my parents not my siblings no one that i ever know it was basically true to myself i this is my way of kind of trying to live true to myself the second one is I wish I hadn't worked so hard. A lot of people I feel are just spinning their wheels and they do not necessarily have to if they don't get on this treadmill of spending more than they actually need. When you spend just like everyone else, you end up working just like everyone else. You end up having to put in overtime and then for what? I, I don't know for what really. That is why over the past year, just this past two weeks, I've been uploading daily, right? But over the past year, right before this, I've been doing uh, one video every other day. And this is kind of what um, I decided to do. I'm like, hey, you know what? I, I quit my job. I am able to work a little bit less. So let me just try this out. I'm going to work less on purpose. And I met so many, so many YouTubers, <laughs> not many, if you call like five, six or something. But whenever I meet people that makes content online, a lot of times I feel like they're pushing as hard as they can. They're working a full-time job. Many times they're over this. So I make it a point to tell people over the past year or so that I'm purposely not working a full-time job just to get people puzzled, just to see, you know, how, what the reactions are. But this is sort of living my life true to myself, kind of according to these regrets of the dying people. So that maybe perhaps when I die, I wouldn't go, Hey, you know, I wish I worked on my YouTube much harder, you know, 
do 40 hours a week, you know, just just kind of grind it just like a full time job. Even with me uploading every single day on YouTube, it's quite a bit less work than a full time job. The third one, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. This is this is something because this is like if you have some some feelings inside and you want to convey it, I guess this is also living true to yourself. This is kind of like in the same theme as the first one. Number four, I wish I had stay in touch with my friends. I am guilty, very guilty of this. I had uh, some friends that, you know, I feel like here's some wisdom. You really do need to keep in touch with friends, you know, at least every three months. You need to kind of ping them, see, hey, you know, how are you doing and stuff. If you go as long as too long, okay, I think six months is too long. Three months is probably the limit at which you can contact, even if even the best of friends. I, I know there would be like some really, really good friends. If you have super established best friends, you might be able to contact them, you know, once every two years, three years even. And then when you meet them, you'll pick up right where you left off. But, you know, for most friends, you can't go too long. You need to keep up that relationship. So there's a wisdom. If you want to keep your friends, make sure to keep a constant contact. Even if you're not doing anything, you know, every once in a while you need to ping them and then go, hey, how, how, how's it going? What are, you, what are you up to? So due to my personal lack of, you know, doing this, now I know better. Um, it's kind of like, it's almost re irreversible. Once you lose that relationship, once you kind of break apart, it's really hard to, you know, reclaim this connection. So what I recommend, if you want to stay in touch with your friends, you gotta, you know, I don't know, even make a schedule or something, put it on your calendar, go, okay, you know, every couple months you need to contact so-and-so. These are the friends that you really do want to keep. Sometimes you might want to drop some friends because maybe, maybe they're toxic. I wish I had let myself be happier. A lot of times people comment on my video saying, you know, you can't live life. You can't enjoy life without spending more money because I am, you know, so frugal myself. To me, I am not constricting myself at all. Whenever I have something I do actually want, I actually go and get it. Sometimes viewing from the outside, when other people see me, oh my gosh, you're not buying certain things. They view it as a restriction because if they have to do that, they would feel deprived themselves. But you got to look at from a different person's point of view. In my point of view, I am not depriving myself. Looking at these life lessons, I guess, I feel like it's very telling um, in the things that you need to do because no one ever goes around saying, I wish I worked harder. Uh, apparently on people's deathbeds, they never go, oh my gosh, I wish I you know, put in more time at work, got that promotion or whatnot. But with all these regrets from these people that you probably think have a lot of wisdom, these older people, it almost seems like learning from them is an important thing. If you look at them, if they have these regrets, maybe you probably would too, because these are common things among older people. These are their regrets. So if you live your life, true to yourself, you don't work as hard, you express your feelings as you're feeling them, don't hold them all in, stay in touch with your friends, you let yourself be happier. Sometimes you need to spend a little bit of money, not just be super duper frugal all the time. Then you might, you know, once it comes time for you to go, you might not have as many regrets. You might go, man, I really did what I wanted to do. And I would say over the past year myself, when I quit my job and then I suddenly just go, goodbye corporate world, let me just go vacation everywhere. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I would say, you know, if I were to, do, to die tomorrow, I would just be smiling to myself, I guess. I'm like, I am so glad I did that because what's the alternative? The alternative is not have done all those new things if I didn't do that. And I probably would have just been at my job and uh, wow, you know, having not gone through all those brand new experiences, those brand new experiences, I feel like that is, that is like the essence of life. I feel like you want to find new things to do. And I guess finding new experiences, whether it's new types of food, new types of area, meeting brand new people you never met before, all of those things just kind of like, it's like the cherry on top on, on life. Those things, um, you know, are the things that you look back and, 
and and you're just most enjoyable about. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, got kind of emotional there. I can't help it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a like, push that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon.